All right. So on a different tab, you want to at some point log into Youth Voices for tonight. Here's what um, if you click on the whiteboard, you should see um, it comes up as the Canvas version first. In other words, that's where you can draw. But if you click over on the note, you'll see an agenda. And the first thing, and you can, if you want to, you can get in there and mess around on it. Um, hi, Anna. But let's do, um, let's do a quick introduction since it's been a while since some of you have been here, but, um, and then we can see how we are. Where, oh, there's Anna. Hi. So, um, yeah. Introduce yourselves. Say hello to each other. Um, Paul Hankins, can you start us off? And, and say, say quickly what you're up to this summer. How about that? Oh, hi, Paul Hankins. Uh, sorry, I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, but I'm upside cool. down in this graduate communications course. It's like a book a week with reflections and a huge project that's coming up uh, due next week, but I have overlapping classes. So this one ends next Thursday. Is Paul talking? Because I can't Monday, hear. So I'm kind of trying um, to navigate those things. But uh, is anyone? Yeah. I can start. I'm not hearing so, anybody speak. So Natalia, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. So Paul, you, Paul's out of your range. Paul, can you move down a little bit? Okay. There we go. Yeah. Everyone, stay closer. Let, let me just check. Maybe I changed. Mm -hmm. Hold on. No, that's normal. Okay. So. Natalia, if you, if one thing to do if you can't hear is uh, kind of pull in closer and you'll be able to hear it probably. Do you see the cone around the the spotlight? If you're anyway, so Paul, can you say that again? Because Natalia didn't hear you. Yeah, sorry, uh, Paul Hankins, uh, Southern Indiana. Uh, this summer I'm taking two com courses. One is wrapping up, and another one's beginning on Monday, and that will fulfill my master's plus 30. Um, and I've used that master's plus 30 to add 18 hours of English and uh, 18 hours of calm uh, in the hopes that maybe I can teach dual credit uh, English classes and speech classes eventually. So cool. trying to wrap up, trying to figure out the next step. But it's a lot of work for you this summer. Great. Jake, it's been a lot of work. Jake, do you want to say hello? Um, yeah, am I on? You are. Okay, I'm um, Jake Jacobs. I'm a art teacher in the Bronx at a middle school um, in New York City. Uh, finishing up my 13th year, my fifth school, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm I'm um, I'm very much like an activist, a public education activist. I was just on some interesting zooms this week. Um, one was about charter schools and how bad they are. Um, I was on Zooms recently with uh, Senator Gillibrand and Senator Schumer, and I got to ask them questions, which was cool. Um, so uh, into a lot of like uh, political stuff and uh, education policy, helping campaigns, stuff like that. Paul knows I'm like, I geek out on all that stuff. Very cool. Natalia, welcome. Do you want to? Hi, I teach at Orange Cove High School, which is in the Central Valley of California. And I am teaching summer school for the first time in like 21 plus years that I've oh been God. a teacher. And it's because my daughter's heading your way. She's going to go to school at Cornell. So. Ah. Undergrad or grad? Undergrad. Oh, cool. My son went to law school there. So, yeah. Oh, cool. It's a, it's a pretty place. Um, great. Um, summer school. So do you, do you want to get kids into Youth Voices? You, we should talk. Yeah, so I'm thinking right now I'm in the middle of the first session and um, it's U.S. history. In the second session, I'm doing ninth grade English. And and I was thinking um, maybe I can have them do which, what we're going to be talking about today. Cool. Um, yeah, talk to me because anyway, yeah, <laughs> I love you, but you have a tendency to get kids in there any way you can and and it's hard. Anyway, so if we can do it in an organized way, that would be great. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Where, what, um, are, what are you doing this summer? It's, that's what we're asking. Okay. Um, I'm um, retiring. <laughs> and 
Um, I'm going to start learning Spanish again, or try to recover some of my Spanish. Very cool. Melissa, I'm just calling on you arbitrarily here. Hi, all. Uh, so I'm up at uh, Lehman College in the Bronx, and this summer I'm teaching a course right now for four weeks, another one in July, and I'm also doing some training with U.S. Prep, which is so the last three days I've been online for way too many hours in session um, and uh, talking about supervising uh, in the field teacher candidates, because I'm going to be working with interns. Um, and in New York City, we're going to get a huge wave of interns because we need teachers so badly. Um, and I'm going to be doing e-supervision of wow. those interns, teachers of record. Yeah. Is that, is that English teachers? English teachers, uh, bilingual teachers. I'm in early childhood and childhood. So I'm working with pre-K all the way to grade six. Um, if they need monolingual, I'll supervise there. I'm also, but primarily I'm focused on the bilingual teachers and I'm also working with CBOs. Um, is all of this remote? It's supposed to be come August, um, yeah. not for the student teacher. So I'm going to be kind of living in two worlds. I think, um, right now my numbers are too low for interns so that they will be remote. Uh, and they haven't had mentors, so I'm doing. I'm planning on doing a lot of coaching videos uh, where they can peer review. Um, but then for the teachers, for the student teachers, because the DOE is opening up, if they say that we can go in, I'll probably do a hybrid model of observing them remotely and then also going into their sites. Cool. And my, I'm supposed to get some uh, Lehman student teachers next year. My and my school has, I think, ELA uh, too. At, at the middle school, yeah. So, so the other Lehman uh, people at the middle school and at the high school have also been in these U.S. prep meetings because that's who's kind of helping us uh, problem shoot. But happy to be here. And Marina, Marina, and I are doing a project with. Um... Uh, STEM, uh, I guess STEAM is, uh, there's some art teachers there too. Some uh, residents who will become uh, student teachers in, in the fall. Um, and um, Anna, do you want to introduce yourself? Nice to see you. Hi. Uh, yeah, my name is Anna. I teach at Berkeley High School in Berkeley, California. Um, we're on summer break right now, or we have been for a couple weeks. Um, I'm trying to work as little as possible, but the work that I am doing, we're talking a lot about grading and equitable grading practices. And one of the things that keeps coming up is yeah, portfolios. I ah, figured good. if I got to go to any meeting, it would be this one. Okay. Thank you. Great. Uh, Marina, do you want to say hello? Hi. <laughs> um... Well, you said a little bit about what I'm doing this summer, but I'm also going to be working with um, some of the students in my school. I'm a third grade teacher um, in Westchester, New York, and um, over the summer, I'm going to be doing some reading work um, with students from K to six and um, also work with Paul. Um, and I'm also going to take a writing class for myself, not a teaching writing class, but a writing class for myself. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Where, where in West Coast, may I ask? Um, well, I, li I live in White Plains. I work in Pecanico Hills. Okay. Um, it is very, it's, it's, it's located in Sleepy Hollow, New York, um, and it's very close to Terrytown. Okay. So very cool. So um, I, I want to run the next part of this as sort of a workshop, and um, to do that, you're going to need to be logged in on a different tab on youthvoices.live. So as I'm talking here, um, let me just, um, and I don't have much of a pitch for this group except to say this. Um, <laughs> it's, it's normal and, and um, you know, I, I did it every year too, um, to, to like wait till the end to do a portfolio. 
And my big proposal here is, <laughs> Karen, you're putting your hand on your door, <laughs> right? So um, it's, I want to propose that we do portfolios from the beginning, right? That, yes. we, that we set them up at the beginning. Um, we make categories. Um, and I have a one way to do that. And I want to do it with you tonight. Fair enough? I'm okay. putting my head, my hand on my head because every semester I mean to. I know, yeah. And it gets away from me. No, it's. Um, and it so makes sense. And it's how I used to teach uh, when I did portfolio uh, based assessment. And it, there's no reason. It, and now, it, maybe because our portfolios in Youth Voices keep evolving. So. Um, so it's uh, always exciting and always something to build toward. So, yep. Um, I think, so let's try to keep what we have and show what we have and see if we can build, you know, yes. inside of that. Um, I also want to say that what has happened over the past year, and it hasn't, um, on Youth Voices is, and the, I'm going to make a quick radical statement and then um, I'll, I'm happy to back off it. But I want to get you, I want to get teachers off Canvas. I also want to get teachers off Google Classroom. Um, and you, you don't have to. If you're comfortable there, that's great. But I don't think you need it, right? Um, all of the tools you need to track, to keep, uh, um, to create a picture uh, and to find where your students are, um, are on Youth Voices now. Um, if they use their profiles and they, so Youth Voices can replace an LMS or, or Google Classroom. Um, and so I just want to put that out there at the beginning of the summer and try to make an argument for it. And, and the reason to make that argument around portfolios is that one of the things you need to do with a portfolio is have a way to collect the work on an ongoing basis. Like if you try, again, something we've learned and we relearn it all the time, if you try to like digitize and find the work later, you're going to be in trouble um, in terms of being able to collect what you want to collect in that portfolio. So we have a, port we have a wall situation. Um, I just recently have called it a wall. I want to say this also, um, what's nice about the, the sort of wall profile now, this is like within the last week, um, is that you can write on another student's wall. They get that message then. Um, it's more, like, more or less like a Facebook wall. Um, so they, when they click on their wall, they, they will see a news feed of all of the stuff they've done on now comment or or elsewhere um, on the site anywhere on the site you can pull other things in there too but let's just say those two um, and they can see anything that they any of their friends so you can kind of work with them to include their friends you know from your class so that they can see each other's work it's more evident anyway Again, all of that is about kids interacting and finding each other. I, I spoke of this uh, two weeks ago, but just to say, it's also like, instead of liking something, you can go to each, you can kind of make it a practice to go and have them choose a habit of mind that um, that, that fits with, and they can quickly click on it and, and make that happen. Lots, lots there. That's all I want to pitch with right now. I want, um, you're in a space that I created. It was blank, um, three hours ago. Um, I think Jake changed my floor, which is fine. You all can, you all can go in and grab a chair and put it somewhere else and sit in it. Let's not do that for a second though. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to experiment with this. So, I created this space for us to talk. Then if you click on the whiteboard, and then there's there are three tabs at the top. It first 
the it first comes on the canvas version but if you go over to the note version you'll see some links so you can put as many whiteboards around as you want this is kind of a cool new thing that they've i think that i think this came live at noon so we're one of the first people in here doing this i think where are the um three tabs um i just see a whiteboard with an eraser the you click the uh, we you um you don't see a um it's just spinning and nothing's coming on yeah. if you click on the whiteboard you should be able to see it should say note both and canvas at the top does anybody else see it so Paul Anna here. sees it yeah shoot what am I doing wrong sorry where's the I'm sorry where's the whiteboard it's right next right, to the green couch right at the top and I want to zoom out of uh okay. zoom out of the map and it's much easier to see okay so we click on that okay it's opening up for me okay and it looks blank at the beginning because it's on the drawing version and then but the, if you go over to note I put a link if you go to that link and you log in you can then you can then write on the whiteboard yourself if you want to so there is that just sort of reorienting I don't know like I said this is hours long so if it's not working properly we'll figure it out but uh -huh. let's see if we can figure it out um, so there are some links there so I want you to be able to go back to that you can close it you can move it around here's here's the piece that I want to do that um, that is hopefully it's sort of testing this out before we put it into a, a playlist so one of the notions that Marina and I have been talking about is starting a portfolio by asking by asking in our case residents but it could students to look at the 16 habits of mind and to choose three that represent their strengths so what I'm going to ask you to do is walk up so what I did so you want to imagine this as a big carpet right? and at the on the carpet are the 16 habits of mind right up above yeah. and you want to find three of them and I don't know how this is going to work but you're going to talk to each other about why one of those represents you okay so you're going to go up and have conversations on the habits of mind about tell us tell stories about how you are somebody who I don't know makes connections between past things and present things right okay okay so I'm actually going to make the um, make the cone of conversation smaller in a second, but I want to check in. Uh, give me a thumbs up that everyone knows what you're going to do right now. Okay, okay. So you're. I'm going to say it one more time. You're moving with your arrow keys up to the habits of mind, which are like a big carpet up there. You're going to sit on top of one that represents you. And you're going to find somebody to talk to about that. And then if you can do that three times, that'll be great. All right, go for it. All right. Did you end up here by accident or is this one for you, Jake? Uh, hello. Uh, you're muted, Jake. You mean to be muted? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I haven't even been able to read them because I can't zoom out. I can, bear, I, I can just about fit the whole chart in. So you don't have to fit the whole chart. You can move around on it. Yeah, so I can go move around. Um, okay, I I just so I just was checking if you were. 
Yeah, I was stalled out for a second. My daughter just asked me. Uh, okay, to okay. For her. That's all good. Um, well, I guess. Cool. All right. Did you choose this one, or did you end up here accidentally? You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Or, oh, I'm like the worst at that. I always forget. Okay. Um, no, I came. It. I came over here. Okay. I know so, if I was to tell, wait, tell, tell, yeah, yeah. I don't know how we'll find each other, but tell tell me a quick story about persisting. Um. How that represents you. I just don't give up on anything, Paul. Like, I just don't. Like, I don't know how to. S <laughs> I don't. I, I, it's just weird. It's like, even when I feel like it, like I did, I didn't. Cool. Which I think is thinking flexibly, too. Okay. So go there and let's see. Okay. <laughs> but it's just not. You got to wait for somebody to come. Meanwhile, I'm watching, watching them. I'm like watching TV. Think I'm laughing at them. I'm a little bit. What, what I've done to kind of like keep my sanity. Like this would be really funny if I was watching it on a TV show right now. <laughs> I was thinking about like um, innovating with uh, you know with my students. Um... <laughs> what you were all comedians? Is this why you're all here? <laughs> no, we're here because no. because we want to talk to someone. Okay. Um, go, go with something. Maybe go with a pair and, you know, go with somebody and find another one. If you if, if play, be playful. Oh, yeah, it's just like, you know. So, Melissa, which one fits you besides finding humor? Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't stop at any others. I, st okay. I, saw, hu I saw humor and I thought, oh, I'm so I'll I'll, I'll show you one for me. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Come on up here. Come with me. So this one, applying past knowledge to new situations. Uh huh. That okay. that that's one that I think I'm good at because I I like take very basic writing project and writing process and but other educational theory too, right. um, that goes back like thirty fifty years. And try to apply it to new technologies. So I could tell a story about that. So find one that you could tell a story about and okay. take me there. Okay. So I'm going to, I think I could probably do all, but I'm going to, a quick scan. Let's go to thinking. Okay. I really love this idea of metacognition and um sort of you know what are you noticing and then talking about what you're noticing and how you're noticing it and but are you good at that um i think that i am um i think that i have a natural tendency to want to do that um and so i've gravitated towards research that has has looked at that mm. um and especially when I think about really young children, but then I also think about second language learners, because it's sort of like that idea of double consciousness, right? Hmm. That, that we can have, you know, as a person of color or as a, you know, marginalized as a woman, um, that I'm, I'm thinking and in two different, from di two different perspectives at the same time. Cool. So, yeah. So go find somebody else and do this again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Marina, you got up here by yourself. Yeah, I it's came like, over here. Am I not following the direction? No, you are. It's just that we have to find each other. <laughs> so like... I one of the directions might have been to go with a pair. So you got you, you got to oh. you got to both find people and you got you got to tell them what you and you know grab them and say hey. I want to talk talk to you about thinking flexibly. Okay, but Paul, you were my partner before. So I know, so go me. find somebody else. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you. Wait, hello. It's okay. So, you know, half the kids masked up, and but we've been back. Yeah. All right. 
I want to break this group I'll, up. I'll take a trip. You, I want you go, go be a pair. Find another one. Okay. Okay, that was where I stopped with Paul. Looks interesting. Hey, Paul, do you have one that you you want to show me? You're talking about. Are you good at this one? Oh, uh, actually, we were just kind of cruising around, but no, you know what? I do. I reflect a little bit, but almost on like the shadow side of reflection, like over ruminating <laughs> on the, you know, did, did that go well? How did that go? Oh, that went terrible. You know, it's almost like I never walk out of those ruminating periods going like, no, that was, no, that was something good. You know, we, we could do that again. Or, um, so the thinking about the thinking, I guess, goes both ways for me. How about you? Yeah, it's not one of my top three. So, um, yeah, come on over here. I'll tell you this one. Come yeah. over to applying past. And like, yeah. I it was a like... great feature of ours. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So this one, this one, I think applies because for me, I, I mean, if I had to pick three from the sixteen, um, because I like taking old educational and philosophical ideas and moving them into new media and technology stuff. So applying that past knowledge to current situations feels like one that, yeah, is me. <laughs> so find another one and take us there. The goal is to find three. A lesson plan for me, I think of it like a cocktail party. I guess I'm so starved to go out. Um, so, uh, okay. Is, so, so the goal here is to end up with three that represent okay. you. Okay. To oh, get, to, well, to, to get... why don't, what, Natalia, why don't you, why don't you pick and I'll follow you. Um, close ended. It, it, like, um, students can't necessarily see the things that are not published. Listening with understanding and empathy. Thinking flexibly, managing. Natalia, are you talking to us or? Because <laughs> yeah, I was sharing my screen too. I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanted all these kids to see this like thing. I'm like playing around here. Um, but... Go ahead. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I, I was are looking at that in, one too. Are you all in number three? Talking about seven. Oh, I see. So, can, so yeah. you can just move away from each other a little bit if you want. Okay. Yeah. Oh, seven works. I keep being on seven. <laughs> Probably any of them work. What? Yeah. The, the goal here is to find the three that represent you the best. Okay. Um, and maybe I wasn't so clear about that. So that's actually that was, this one's a good one. like kind of mind blowing. Like the essential questions for structuring a whole unit or like blew my mind. And I feel like that's like an underrated, probably an underrated thing in most um this I mean I don't know I feel like English teachers think about it a lot and I'm curious I guess if other teachers spend the same amount of time classroom off so, of gun we are, they are right off of Gun Hill Road uh, so yeah I know it's funny thinking of solutions uh, is, what kind of problems you have in your school Yeah. How do I, I how am I doing I, I that scaffolding and, and really scripting out? Yeah. It, it makes sense, right? For, you know, an English lit person, when you think about a play and you think about the beauty of, you know, looking at the, the scenes and mm -hmm. that lesson is that scene. So where those questions are, um, so that's that's really the work that I'm doing now as a supervisor of student teachers. When I was in the classroom, I think I thought about it, but certainly I had no training. I feel like they're not. Mm. Um, you just kind of learned it naturally. Kind of like you know how to to start a I'm discussion. Just kind of you can't like, ask, okay, like what happened here, like so comprehensive questions because the discussion goes nowhere. Right. Right. Um, All right. Paul, do you have three that you could write about? 
I, I do. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. It was my first teaching experience, and then I moved and to by teaching the end of it, college. I was, oh, but I, I was based on listening to their presentations, I think that might have been in some way. I think it intimidated them. They, I think yeah. they felt, oh, my goodness, this is so much information. I'm not. I'm not. Um, yeah, overwhelming. Yeah. All right. I don't do um, able to make this I'm not knowledgeable enough, and voting is too. Uh, you have to know too much. Yeah. There was so much to know. Knowledge, sure. So let's gather back. Yeah. Let's gather back on the green couches for a second okay. just to process this. All right. So seeing. So let's just, let's just process this as learners, right? Yeah as what was that as a like a, as a know? learning experience yes yeah, it's, it's cool because it's cool do you want to say a little more karen or not <laughs> oh i was saying um yeah. that it's that i like the kumo space and um this and uh marina and i were just racing um <laughs> so that was fun we were talking about um portfolios uh and um how you um what feels like play on the portfolios and what feels like work hmm. mm, yeah. i think i think with my um super fast uh work on portfolios last week that i um i don't i just wish the school year was longer actually so that i could um do portfolios with the kids hmm. and that I had started earlier. I had the most success um, last year um, with putting together portfolios because I thought the semester ended three weeks before it did. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I had three weeks to kind of, oh, we can do the portfolios now. <laughs> so, so yeah, it, it, it almost has to be its own unit, right? Or it actually, it has to start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, other responses to this moving around on top of those things, as opposed, how? What was the experience like here? Jake's back. Uh, I kind of Paul. I like how that kind of translates to like physical movement in the classroom when you're asking people to do like physical continuums, when you're asking people to put themselves on a human scale. You know, like to what degree do you agree with what I'm getting? Oh. How they feel about that particular issue that you're presenting. So being able to park on the different squares was kind of like that a little bit. You know, like I could park on number four for a little bit. And, you know, but, think about that. But as far as the habits of mind go, I like how that stretches us out from what do you like about me or what do you notice about me? And then it moves more toward what are my qualities? But then the qualities are kind of linked to that. What do you like about me? Or what do I like about myself? This is more like not the quality, but a habit. Because I, I may not always demonstrate the things about me that you like, but the habits that I exhibit are, are observable beyond just the normal everyday presentation of Paul. These are things that I do. This is how I approach the work that I'm going to do today. Hmm. So it's not what you like about me. It's what I demonstrate in various ways and i think that's just a different way of thinking about habits versus qualities features character traits paul, i'm going to employ these habits today. yeah paul i just want to like piggyback off of that because that really resonated with me I, th I think of qualities as being very static and this both play both squares that i ended up on were like oh this is something like i try and do this is important to me to laugh in the classroom that was the first a bunch of us ended up on the humor box and we're like none of us I don't want to speak for anybody, but we seem to agree that we're not necessarily funny people per se, but like the, for me, it was something that I missed about being in the classroom was just laughing at all the kids being kids. Um, and then when Melissa and I ended up on another square, it sparks this really interesting conversation about questions in, in education and in teaching. And neither, neither of those things felt like static qualities about me as a person, kind of what Paul was saying, but like things that I'm interested in it just I could have talked about this for the whole hour, I think, 
because there was just so much to say. So I I really thought this was dynamic and um I loved hearing the chatter of other conversations as I moved around them because it was such a hmm. simulation to something that I miss. <laughs> um and so that movement, and I, I instantly think, you know, Karen, you said you guys were racing. I think about kids, you know, the five-year-old that will want to race from one space to another. And um, so the energy that's happening here is really different, and I appreciate it. And then, like, you know, it's already been said, the idea of our conversation, the habits, for me, that's sort of like the content of what we were discussing was structure, but really open so that we could take it to where we want it to. So I, I like that a lot too. All right, I'm, I'm watching the clock and thinking that I, the next thing that I would do with students and was gonna do with you, um, and if you, we can maybe go here, um, is, is to go on Youth Voices and find docs and to write about the three habits that represent you. And, and I'm thinking that this replaces our three paragraph bio. Um, and Marina and I were talking about how um, we had to collapse stuff, for, like we couldn't do everything. But we want to introduce the habits right away. So instead of just like describing who you are, and we have some good questions around that. What if we had kids write three paragraph bios representing each of the three habits that they identify with the most? Or I like Anna, what you said about how the one you strive toward the most, or, you know, some, they're important to you in some way, either because you are them or you want to be them. It might be a nice way to say it. Any thoughts on that? I'm, so yeah. writing about um, writing um, and, uh, uh, about uh, aspirationally about a um, abstract thing could, I can imagine that it would um, draw a blank. Um, but so the assignment would be um, give some examples. Yeah, I think you, you wanted to, I mean, and I tried to say that and, I, yeah. So if there's a way for when you're, however you choose the three, the, the, in the talk, if you could start telling stories about a time when you were like this, right, that would lead to the, the writing, I think. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, but let's, let's skip over doing that and get to looking at the um, the portfolios. Does that sound fair? Um, so if you if you if you can get to the whiteboard, <laughs> I'm gonna s ask you to skip down to. Um, well, you've seen Brenda Lee's portfolio, but you haven't seen it with the habits in. So let me just show that as an. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to move away. Let me just show that as a, a quick example, but you need to get into Youth Voices and and start thinking about getting to the web stories, so that you can kind of do some of this with us. But I'm gonna I'm gonna share this. Okay. So I'm sharing the screen now, right? Um, and. I just want to show this portfolio. Am, am I sharing the one that says a portfolio of my work showing habits of mine? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, worked over time with Brenda Lee and then just, um, actually Ben, ben Kay, Kay, um recently said to me, hey, you know what? You could, uh, you could include the habits of mine somehow in there. So, um, so we went back and thought about which ones she might use. So this this portfolio became this, right? So it's a portfolio of my work showing the habits of mine. I used while, right? Annotating and writing by Anta books. 
And so here's the first one, right? So she's applying past knowledge. Um, I'm going to click quickly through just to show the three of them. Here's the second one, thinking about your thinking that she chose. And here's the third one, listening with understanding and empathy, right? And then this text down here is really just taking the text from the habits and making it hers, right? I use what I learn in these examples of my annotations and my writing about the hate you give. Um, I am accessing prior knowledge, right? Um, we can think about how much that becomes her own language or how much it stays there. But then you kind of see the the results here. You can click on these links or click on this. All right. Same with this. I am self-aware. Um, the examples here show that I'm aware of my own thoughts and feelings. Um, she here she's reflecting on she it's her reflections on her annotations so that's why it seemed to fit that and then this one um listening and understanding with empathy um it's her sort of what what she what it's it's really her now her response to jane janie through the whole novel that you kind of see here now, I absolutely think there could be more writing of her own, more reflecting of her own, but that's sort of where we are now. And I'll, and I'll stop this by saying that when working with Karen's kids a little bit, I found myself saying and, and feel like I want to say that, like, somebody looking at your portfolio needs to be able to, like, do what I just did and get a sense of the whole and then needs to be able to go back and say, oh, I want to go in depth in terms of those those essays you wrote about Janie, right? So I can I can find that and I can click on these, or I want to go in depth on you know any of these. So, but there needs to be a like a you need to be able to see the whole thing in in ninety seconds too, um, is the idea. The, and the other so. Any any thoughts about that so far? You all still there? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, then here's the next thing to show you. And you, if you go to Web Stories on Youth Voices, should I show you how to do that? Let's see. If you up here, once you're logged in up here under Create. If you go to create or edit a web story, you will find it. If you hit create, you'll also find it here. Just to say. But all That's the, new? Mm, couple weeks. <laughs> um, it, it's also here under, you know, under your thing here, under your drop down on yours. So mm -hmm. it's all sorts of ways to find it. So Karen, do you want to talk about what you did a little bit here? Let's find okay. let's find yours and then is that okay? Yeah, yeah, find mine. Where is it? it here it is. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Open an editor or in your choice. Let's do a new tab. Okay. So, so now is, you're, so you duplicating it. No, nope, it's just, no. I'm just showing it. Got it. Um, so, um, I used, um, Brandalise as a template and then I, um, made the font, the colors, the pictures, um, the links, my own. Um, and I, um, this is a portfolio of, our work um, over the whole year. So a semester of um, working on James Baldwin and then a poetry uh, unit and then a um, debate unit. So this is an intro, um, an intro page about this, about one semester's work. And then you can go 
continue. Um, so I put links to my com comments in now comment on um, the two essays in the fire next time. And then if you go forward, um, mm -hmm. the, um, the other book, another book that we read was If Beale Street. And so I followed that up with links that are in the color that match that book cover. Mm -hmm. And if you click on part one, you can see the link comes up. Um, and shoot. So no, one thing there. I- Here's your 32 comments. Right, but the thing that I wanted was for it to show up at the top because some uh, the kids don't necessarily, and I have to remember how to make the link so that it does show up in sorted. But anyway, um, also this uh, link to these now comments, it um, like it um, takes you out of, does it take you out of um, the portfolio or does it create another tab? Um, it creates another tab. <clears throat> okay, yep. so that's cool. All right, Qu next. Just quickly get through, yeah, our 90 yeah. seconds is up. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so, so I'm not sure. This is a, um, a an assignment that I had them do on Trump supporters yeah, on January 10th, we, or January, um, two days after that thing happened. So January 8th, Trump supporters and uh, Black Lives Matter, what would Baldwin say? Um, and then this is an I remember poem that I wrote about the pandemic and about what happened last May 29th in outside my building. And then next one. So we wrote I remember poem. Um, it's a wonderful wrote, poem, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's a, it's um, a la um, Brainerd, Joe Brainerd, his style. Mm. And then the where I'm from poem, I wrote it. Uh, um, off of Georgia the Lion. So I have my kids write I remember poems that, where I'm from poems. We They are ninth graders, um, often tenth graders. Um, and then a Places We Love poem, um, which I didn't make one, but the kids oh. made them. Um, so... So you're... Right, keep going. So a suite of poems um, that they created. Um, and then writing about independent reading, they did a lot of literature responses in the first semester. So I put that, um, this page and the other, th these are dummy stubs. Well, they're templates for your students, right? Yeah, templates for my students. So they did an audio recording. They chose a poem from Poetry Out Loud and um, analyzed it, um, rehearsed it, um, recorded it, and then posted their analysis and their recording, and here they are presenting it. So they, yeah. they go ahead. So, so that's it. part of so here's here's part of what I sorry. Say a little more about how they used your take a look at take a look at Drews. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go down. If you look for Drews, can I ask Kieran yeah, a question? Yeah, it's purple yeah, yeah. on the left. Got it. You Kier yeah, Go ahead. Kieran, Paul. do you, so are you archiving all your students' portfolios? You're keeping them in one place like they come to you? Mm, um, Paul, open Drews in the, another tab. Um, so, the, uh, no, I didn't get that far, but actually I would like to do that. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite possible. Um, so on on your um, on the harvest page, we'll oh yeah, we'll that's make right. we'll make a section of portfolios. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So this is what one student, uh, one ninth grader made. Uh, so there were, um, yeah. I really like the idea of Kieran's having. Uh, template tabs, um, you know, it's it's one thing in a physical composition book, if you make a tab and then you don't do that kind of writing, you've dedicated that space, you made a tab. I like it here in the digital space in that, well, maybe we didn't get to that this year. 
we, we didn't get to that tab. Well, it's okay. It's still, it's still there. The student can build into it maybe later on after huh. they pass out of your classroom, I suppose. I don't know. I get, um, Paul, I, in mm -hmm. retrospect, I think it would have been better if I had um, prepared better and realized that um, I didn't need to make um, the whole thing, it, um, but rather make, I could have made um, pages. So if yeah. you go to show so how me, you can get there. Yeah, let me show yeah. one more thing. Marina and Marina mess, <laughs> this is just her messing around here. Yeah. Um, Marina, can I show yours? <laughs> Hello? Yes, you can show mine. Sorry, you can say no. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's just, okay. No, it's just your it's just, gonna... it's just it's just you're figuring it out. Yeah. Just... Okay. So but what I wanted to show is that what we thought is that this this would be sort of what could be set up at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Um the idea that she, that she picked three and then there are these blank pages. <laughs> So you, you sort of set your sections up right from the get-go, um, related also to that bio piece that you're writing, and maybe, you know, maybe those get combined in some way. But that's the idea that you're picking three of these. And let me just show quickly, how do I go back? Uh, here we go. Can I edit yours? I think I can. Uh, sorry. Open an editor. Thank you. <laughs> so just to follow up on Karen's notion. So if you look at the bottom here, those that's that's her pages. If she wanted to add and I don't have all 16 of them here yet, but let me just show you that. Way up here at the top, there is, and this is new since we talked about this last time, there are page templates, right? Um, and you can save any page as a template, and then they get saved here on this. So the first thing that comes up here are really pretty useful templates, and you can, click on those and then make them your own. But also what we're going to do is save a bunch of these templates here so that you can quickly say, this is mine, right? You, you click on that. Actually, you double click on it and it pops up and that's yours. And then you can mess around with the language here, right? And, and so what Karen was saying, you can, I, I'll just repeat it, but yeah, um, is that what we were thinking about is instead of giving them the whole thing, we might have used this page template thing instead, right? That when yeah. they when they come to this, uh, they might need the whole thing too. I don't know. But so where we are right now, though, is trying to imagine putting the habits of mind forward first, putting the portfolio forward first, and asking people to do more or less what um, Marina has done here by setting up sections and blank pages. And then when you start doing things, they'll end up, you'll end up putting them back in your portfolio. Um, I, and I'm looking at the clock and I see this. Let me just, um, some of this is like a uh, need to know and I say it and but let me just uh, go to Brendley's again, just to show you where this ends up. Uh, so on Brendley's wall now, right? And everybody's wall, there's a place to see all your activities, a place to see all the docs you've written, um, which is her journal. She's, you know, did a journal each day in her docs. Um, I'm, I'm transferring all of the guides into docs too, by the way. Um, but that'll be a process. Oh. Um, all of, her, all of her comments are going to be here too. All our posts are here. Anything she's bookmarked and why she's bookmarked them. But then the portfolio is here as well. Right. And you, 
it doesn't have to be just this one thing, but here's, right, so she has a couple things in her portfolio, but here's that portfolio again, right, so that's how you get to it, and that's where it ends up. Um, so, yeah. Good document, I just want to say that, but that, that, that happened, Mr. Hankins did that tonight. Say I made that? a document. Oh, I good. Mean, a document. Good. Yeah, let's let's finish. Let, let me stop sharing and let's um, just finish with some conversation here. Um, trying to come back. So basically, I, I just want to kind of check. Does um, which part of this feels like, yeah, we can do this and which part feels like, wait, I need more help with this or or, or, I don't know. What are you thinking now? <laughs> um, oh, go ahead. No, my my question may be like off the off the grid past ten o'clock. I made my document. How do I get that in my portfolio? Is that do I do that? Is that something I can do? That's a good question. So when um, when you made the document. Mm -hmm. it, it automatically made an activity um, post on your on your profile uh -huh. on, on your wall, right? Which you can go back to and link to and use in your portfolio. So when right, right? So you would get the link to that post, and you would drop that into a box on your on your web story that you're building. Okay. Yeah. Where would I see Paul's post? Like, where do I, the, or Karen, or or any of Karen's students, or Brenda Lee? Um, you would have to know their name. On the showcase. Yeah. If you go under um, members. Okay. And type Brenda Lee, it'll, her, her, her wall will show up there. Okay. And the wall, by the way, shows all of her friends' work. Anybody she has friends' work, but there's a you can hit personal and you just see her work then. Um, but also there are those six tabs across the top as well. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like opposites in some way. Like if you if you sneeze, I want that to be on your profile, right? Almost. Not if you sneeze, but if you if you have an idea, I want that idea to end up on your profile so it's 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 fodder for your portfolio later. But then there's a process of like selecting and and bookmarking and eventually deciding to put it into the portfolio, right? But again, if you know that your ideations and your your little, every little comment you make in now comments gonna end up on my wall um, that, that I can use later in my portfolio, that's the idea. <laughs> I'm going to get quiet and ask if there's any other thoughts or questions or ideas. There's, oh. Yeah, I think the thing we did before with going up and um, looking at the habits mm -hmm. would be a great uh, PD for my school. Um, you, I mean, you could easily do an hour and a half on that. <laughs> Just well considering it all and, and, and having different groupings. Yeah, it, it would make more sense if they read the article first, right? About it. I you mean, know, yeah. If, if it's not the first time they're seeing it. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but also, yeah. But also Paul's yes. idea, Paul's idea of, of that thing where you move across, you agree, disagree across the room, or there's other ways to do that, 
we could like create images where on here that we could do that. That would be fun to do. So that's a good idea, Paul. Images meaning like icons. So 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 we could just make a I don't know a thermometer across a thin image that says agree on one side, disagree, and then they would find themselves on there, and then yeah. I also like the idea, Paul, that you were able to take that 16 Habits of Mind grid and lay it down as a carpet, a digital carpet. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. At Now Comment, we've been doing like that visual rhetoric thing where you drop the box and you make your comment there and it mm -hmm. pops up over in the side of the annotation. That might be a place too where you park a, an image that's large enough to become a carpet and have the students go to a place on that image where they would make a comment, you know, mm -hmm. like in, in real time in the space, not on Now Comment. Like, what do you see? What do you notice? What do you wonder about? Yeah. Do like a gallery walk with like a series of photos. Um, and people can, can walk around the virtual room um, and and talk about why they've chosen a specific, I'm picturing more like, I guess that's a traditional way of doing it where there are like pictures stuck to the wall. Yeah, in, and you're imagining this in Kumo space? I, I thought that's what Paul was saying, so that I was just going off of that. Mm -hmm. We're on the same wavelength tonight, Paul. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, so it's none of this is either or. I mean, I think Kumo Space is a great place. You could do that, and then people could talk, right? <laughs> and that talk is really important. Um, and then you could say, hey, take that talk and go to Now Comment and see the same images. And yeah. But, yeah. yeah there's that gradual release, right? So we're going to do it in this space. Yeah. And then take over to now comment and I want you to do it over there now that we've modeled that for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks. This, this whole wide today. I haven't, I haven't seen any of this design the space stuff yet. I got the email from Cuomo space this afternoon. I was like, I'm gonna go check that out. But I had to read some Audrey Lord um, <laughs> this afternoon for the comm course. And that's got me all upside down. So I, I, I love seeing what you're reading, Paul. It's cool. Um, yeah, so um, you can go edit your own spaces, but feel free to edit a room here too. Um, I think you're all co-hosts, so feel free to do that. I would, I, we're not there yet and we're in the middle of summer, so, but as we get to the fall, I would love TTT to become a place where like people come to the whiteboard and put on the board what they want to present, what they want to talk about. And maybe they do that the week before. I don't know, but um, just to say that that's um, that I, this the whiteboard's an interesting innovation here. I think um, the the jukebox, by the way, is is really cool. You you can put you can put a um, what is it um, playlist the, the streaming service. Yeah. Um, you, you can put a Spotify. Spotify, thank you. You can put a Spotify um, playlist in. Um, and what's neat about that is that um, each individual can play that playlist and they hear that what they're hearing and others don't hear it. So that's kind of cool. You can play that jukebox for yourself. Um, anyway. Um, what I keep pushing them is I want to be able to click on now comment and uh, for example and go to that page right but they're uh, dragging their feet on getting links in but they say they will so thank you all I, did they uh, fix it did they fix it part? for iPad yet I don't think so um, I think Google it's space? there's still no I know it's it's an issue and yeah it came up last week, obviously. So, um, and I, yeah, they have the same answer that they want to develop it first and then move out. I kind of, from a developmental point of view, I get that. Um, but so, yeah. But I, from an equity point of view and who has what machines, I get that too. Natalia. Hit me up. Let's talk about summer school sometime. Love to get your kids in. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you all. Oh, there is no exit <laughs> exit button, so you have to go down to the 
exit room way at the bottom in the um in the margin at the bottom and right on each other's walls see how that works <laughs> on youth voices it's bye fun. paul thank bye -bye. you thank you bye anna, now. anna are you going up to your family or not i know yeah, they were this weekend you. this okay. weekend okay yeah actually i'll be in new york for a couple days oh, really? i'm gonna, gonna go gonna go to the city um the 20th to the 23rd wow mm -hmm. so i'll you want to say hi or you to let me know where Wait, where, where are you located um what what's the best movie out right now <laughs> what's the best movie i have no idea washington so heights so I, I live oh, in washington. Oh, washington heights that's my neighborhood i'm like i i know that spot i know that spot i know that spot. Ah, that's <laughs> anyway, so cool lindman well look up I'll look up how close or far that is to where I'll be, and I'll email you if I, if it's close. Oh, to, I'm not gonna be there for that long, so I don't know. But I will if I'm if do you, doable. Do you know I'd where you'll be? That. Okay. Uh, my. We're recording this, so don't say that. <laughs> oh yeah, good good call. Um, um, yeah, just just connect. That's yeah, cool. that would be fun. Okay. All right. See ya. See ya. Paul, Paul yes. is that YV Youth Voices? Yes. Okay, so if I click on that, nothing happens. <laughs> Not, no, I, it's it's what I it's what I want it to do. It doesn't do it yet. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay, and, they, I, and all they have to do is give us a a link field under the underneath the image, and then and then that'll work. But right, I okay. there may be some security issue around it, but they're figuring okay. it out. Okay, yeah. and and then Paul, the other poll was using edit and changing the color of the rug and which you could do right now go ahead right if you want to um so. So, uh, so paul paul you have the same plans for next year you're going to be working with those two transfer schools uh you know nobody said anything yet you got to find out later yeah I mean, there you go. Okay. Put the welcome rug in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the activity, okay. the activities is the fun category, by the way. Right. I, Jake, nobody, nobody knows anything about budgets or anything. So, yeah. I just do my thing. Yeah, there, I there's know. Something, I there's something cooking up, you know, in another district. You know, I just figured out. Oh, and gotcha. so what, what is that one? Let's That's... let's try this for a second. You got to close the edit. Okay. And and I'm and I'm right that I can play quiet hours, right? Can I play it? I it's letting me play it. Yeah. Are you hearing that at the same time I am? Or... Well, so if I turn it off, yeah. Oh. You, it looks like you play it for the whole group. Okay. Okay, so you, so you can hear it right now. I can. Okay. Uh, so what I said was wrong, about, which is fine. Hmm. At any rate, okay. the possibilities here are interesting. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if I wanted to um, get rid of it, I, I saw mean, an X, right? You, I mean, uh, you, you could put stuff all over, like charts and, oh. and things, you know, to read and see. Um, and How would I visuals. remove it's it? Great. What did I do? Um, I I'd showed have... it to my uh, assistant yeah, principal. Yeah, right now you could use the whiteboards that way, I think. You can put as many whiteboards as you want. But yeah. yeah. But anyway. Right. And you yeah, you should... could draw um, yeah, I showed it to my uh, assistant principal. He really, he really was into it, and uh, he, mm -hmm. I, he, he did a couple of invitations to the staff to do, I guess, uh, m you know, meetings there, mm -hmm. and uh, he, you know, he sees the potential for it. I, I, you know, it's hard to get people into new things, but, um, it, you know, he thought it was a great recommendation. So, cool. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. Yeah, Mel Melissa. If there's any that that other thing we talked about a while ago, if that if that's still burning, let me know sometime. 
you know, yeah, um, there's a lot of information with, with what's coming. Tomorrow is my last day, and then we're going to be planning next week. So I want to see how they're... Um, You're a very I'm, busy person, I got to say. I, it, <laughs> I, I bit off a lot more than I could chew this summer, and I'm a little... My brain is fried. But, All right. um, but I, you know, in terms of what we're looking at here, I had spoken with Nikki about, you know, just giving some thought to how it could work specifically for the early childhood teachers. So, you know, I, I know that now comment and youth voices so, is is primary, but the Kumo space um, is something exciting too to yeah. think about for those teachers. And by the way, Marie, Marina is making a playlist where um, you, you have to get the answer. It's a mathematical answer. Okay. And then, and then it open. You get the key to open the next one. Um, anyway, that yeah, she, that she did with her third graders. So yeah, we're thinking so, about it. Yeah. So at some point, maybe the three of us could talk outside of of Wednesdays. But I'm going to try to be present for each Wednesday, Great. just to because I'm getting a better understanding now of how now comment and youth voices are working together. Great to have you. Yeah. Thank talk, you. Talk to you both soon. Good night. Okay, good night.